All right, welcome to today's press conference. Uh, my name is Chris Lafurio with Edinburgh University and Edinburgh Athletics. We are excited to join officials and physicians from LECOM, Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. We are going to be announcing a new partnership for our team physicians today. Um, beginning this fall, actually, uh, LECOM Health is going to be providing sports medicine oversight for all Edinburgh University athletic programs. Um, today, we have a couple speakers who are going to talk about this partnership and talk about what it means for Edinburgh University athletics. So I'm going to do some brief introductions. We're going to talk to members of both the LECOM organization and Edinburgh University athletics. And we brought in a couple Edinburgh student athletes to talk about their experience and, and what it means to have dedicated team physicians to their sport. So um, once again, my name is Chris Lafuria uh, with Edinburgh and Edinburgh Athletics. We also have uh, Gary Hanna, the head athletic trainer for Edinburgh University. We have Catherine Robbins, Dr. Catherine Robbins. She is the Edinburgh University Athletics Director. We have Dr. Patrick Leary from LECOM and Dr. Christopher Ryle, also from, from LECOM. And they're gonna talk a little bit about sports medicine and college athletics and the partnership and what's gonna be going on. So we also have Trace Donch, a two sport athlete at Edinburgh University and a current graduate assistant in the sports information department. And we have Monica Brown, who is a current basketball player um, with Edinburgh University. So welcome to all of our, our panelists today. Um, it's, it's exciting to be here. Thank you for joining us. And for everybody that's watching, thank you for joining us as well. This video is going to be live on YouTube. We're also gonna be sharing it on, or this is live on Facebook. We're also gonna be sharing it on YouTube and Twitter. So if you wanna recap, or if you wanna check out just what the arrangement is, feel free to check it out. So I'm going to um, shift over to Gary Hanna, um, our head athletic trainer. He's gonna talk a little bit about the background and um, kind of like the arrangement of what we're doing with, for our student athletes. So welcome, Gary. Thanks. Um, you know, our medical services we provide for our athletes here are multifaceted. We are kind of a little bit out in the country here. And so when, when we say that we provide medical services, we're talking about the whole gamut. That's not only orthopedics, sprains, strains, and automobiles, but you know, when they get sick, when they, you know, when they, when they need anything, they come to us. Uh, and with our new association with LECOM, that provides us with the physician services that we need to provide that total care to our athletes. So there's a wide variety of services that we do provide. And it's nice to be able to, be, to do that um, in-house rather than having to ship these kids out to larger metropolitan areas like in Cleveland, Pittsburgh, et cetera. So that, that's a, a big plus for us. And again, um, we're taking in athletes from all over the country. And uh, we kind of become mom sometimes when even the sniffles and the colds and the flus hit, they come to us. And, and that's the idea is to be able to provide them with that comprehensive service. And our physicians, um, with LECOM are providing that service with us. You know, I've known Dr. Leary for a number of years. Dr. Ryle and I are getting to know each other pretty well uh, as we provide these services, you know, through the fall. They've been with us now since August and uh, it's been a good, a good relationship. So uh, Dr. Leary, let's go over to you. Can you talk a little bit about um, your work with sports medicine? I know Edinburgh is not the first branch to partner with LECOM. Talk about your experience with sports medicine and um, your relationship with uh, our, our program here. Just, just one second, Dr. Leary. I'm trying to un, it's not letting me unmute. As, um, there we go. As Gary alluded to, um, we've worked together for the last 15 years, um, not just tangentially, but uh, um, officially um, with, um, um, and, and, and our relationship is, uh, has been a good one. He's, uh, he's, he reminds me of the uh, athletic trainers uh, that I worked with at Notre Dame for 10 years. He's as good as they've ever had. Um, and uh, so I really look forward to getting back into that relationship. We, um, our, our organization has been in the sports medicine business for the last 13 years here at LECOM. We've trained 25 fellows. Um, a fellow is a, a doctor that has gone and done a family practice residency and then spends a year with us uh, learning about um, event coverage and 
ultrasound and injections and mental health, concussions, pre-participation exams. These are the things that we do. That's our bread and butter. Um, and we have uh, two fellows with us now. They're here in the room listening and uh, learning how to do a press conference, hopefully. But uh, we've taken care of um, Mercyhurst for the last uh, 12 years. Um, we've taken care of um, Mercyhurst Prep. We've taken care of Corey High School um, and the Bayhawks, the Erie Bayhawks, from a professional standpoint. So our fellows get an experience uh, both from high school all the way to professional work. And uh, so then they go out and, and uh, become team physicians throughout the country. Uh, we were fortunate enough to land Chris Ryle as partner, and he's going to be the head, head person, the, the lead person at Edinburgh, and I'm going to be his assistant when he needs me. But uh, basically uh, what we do in sports medicine, we, like Gary alluded to, 600 athletes, uh, it's not just covering a wrestling match. It's uh, taking care of people. You have to be a doctor first before you can be a good sports medicine doctor, and that's what we're training our fellows. You have to know about um, all of our fellows carry uh, AED. COVID-19 uh, has us all concerned um, about, um, uh, you know, what heart ailments people might have after they've been uh, subjected to uh, an infection. Um, we, we deal with, you know, nutrition and medical illnesses, uh, overuse, burnout, um, and specific injuries specific to sports. I, uh, I noticed we have some athletes with us today. It's all about them. Very good. Very interesting. And like, like Gary said, it's, it's great to have a, a team of dedicated physicians to our student athletes. Uh, so you mentioned Dr. Christopher Ryle. Um, what I'd like for you to discuss uh, for our audience and for, for everybody watching, um, basically, what is the importance of having sports medicine directly with college athletics? So we have a, a very dedicated college training staff, but what sort of services do you offer and what sort of um, benefit is there for an athletics department to have, to have your physicians here with us? Thank you, Chris. Uh, you know, for me, I think a sports medicine program, um, and it brings a medical home away from home for these student athletes. Uh, like Gary said, a lot of them are away from home for the first time. And there's a lot of things just besides the physical injury that, that we deal with. Um, it gives structure, it gives sort of a safety net for the, for the student athletes. Uh, concept of sports medicine and, and team physician, it, it parallels our osteopathic uh, training, um, treating not just an injury, but also, uh, you know, mind, body, spirit, and, and taking into account everything. Um, it, it takes a team, it really takes a team to, to take care of a team. And, um, you know, Gary has a very strong core of uh, athletic trainers in, in his department, and, and we've been working together since August. Um, you know, my goal with time is, is to branch out and, and work with, with faculty, with student health, um, and even with the Edinburgh community. So it, it, it's a pleasure to, to be a part of this, and, and uh, we're, we're very excited for, for what the future brings. Excellent. And um, I'm sure our student athletes, as you'll hear for a sec, um, in a second, they appreciate your presence here on campus. Um, like Gary said, um, our training staff and our physicians that we cover everything from the sniffles to, you know, ACL tears and, and, and uh, very significant injuries. So um, I think that level of care for our student athletes is what makes this partnership so special. It's not just another community partner for Edinburgh Athletics and LECOM working together. It's also making sure that the health and safety of our student athletes is, is at the forefront of our focus. Um, and we couldn't do that without, without Dr. Riles and Dr. Leary and your team. So with that said, I'm going to turn things over to Dr. Catherine Robbins, who's uh, going to give a little perspective from the administration side. She, uh, as the director of athletics, she um, is interacting with every department, every um, staff and every team on campus. So she sees a lot of she sees a lot of the highs, she sees a lot of the victories and the wins, but she does see a lot of the losses and defeats and injuries. So um, Dr. Robbins, welcome. Um, and here she is. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, Chris. Um, thank you to uh, Dr. Leary and Dr. Ryle. Uh, really appreciate your service thus far. Um, we're excited about this partnership. 
um, and we want to welcome you to the Fighting Scots family officially. Um, <clears throat> I guess in the this day and age, uh, or in 2020, uh, uncertainty is probably the, uh, you know, everybody says unprecedented. Uh, you can add uncertainty to that. So um, sports, having a partnership in sports medicine, um, where our student athletes, we know that they're in the best hands uh, professionally um, for their health and their safety and their care uh, is, is very comforting to me because as Dr. Leary mentioned, uh, for me, it's all about the students. So um, we're excited about this partnership. Uh, as you know, um, our, our athletic training staff is set second to none um, with Gary as head athletic trainer and all our trainers, uh, Danielle, Audra, and Ryan, they, they work tirelessly to serve our student athletes to serve our university and, and to ensure the well-being of our of our fighting Scots. So um, it's nice to have you as a part of this partnership. Um, I personally uh, have seen firsthand um, and it's nice to see the rapport and the trust that physicians build with our student athletes and then the collaboration between um, you all and, and our athletic training staff, um, all for the, the good of our student athletes and the, their health and safety. Um, I'm certainly no stranger to sports injuries myself uh, as, a, as a former student athlete on the water ski team at the University of Central Florida first and then the University of Louisiana Monroe. I have a, quite a, a, a list of uh, injuries, um, everything from fractured sternums to um, uh, dislocated shoulders and uh, um, and, and a few knee surgeries as well. Um, had it not been for the excellent surgeons that I had and the, the dedicated athletic trainers who put me back together and were instrumental in my rehabilitation, I'm, I'm certain that I would not still be competing in water skiing today. Now, after that list, uh, the doctors are probably asking, why are you still competing today? Uh, I, guess, I guess you can call me an adrenaline junkie. I, I, I can't help myself, but... Um, uh, I'm just really excited for this partnership um, and uh, as our coaches and student athletes continue to diligently work and train uh, to prevent injuries, it is nice to know that when those do occur, they're in, they're in very good hands. Um, so welcome to the Fighting Scots family. Thank you, Dr. Robbins. Um, I think I mean, I think it's almost to the point where either major, major or minor injuries become part of athletics, and we do our best to make sure our students are prepared and they're trained up so they, you know, can be as safe, but you never know what can happen. So it's, it's nice to be able to have a, a, a sports medicine team um, as, you know, in, as incredible as, as the Lee Common, the Edinburgh partnership. So uh, with that said, uh, student athletes obviously are our focus. So we brought in uh, two of our brightest student athletes here. We have Trace Donch, we have Monica. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the student athlete approach. Uh, Monica, talk about um, talk about your experience and, and 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 what is it like being a student athlete and having this sort of um, sports medicine available. Hi guys, thanks, Chris. Um, it's kind of an amazing feeling knowing you know being away from home, even though like I'm only 15 minutes away from home, but. Um, Having a family that's actually a family, like no matter where you are on campus, everybody's there for you 24 seven, um, especially on the athletic side, it's an amazing feeling. And especially knowing that, you know, you have doctors that are gonna put their foot down and help you out right away. It's, it's pretty great feeling, um, especially just being a hard athlete the way I always have been. Um, basketball's always been my life. So it's just a great feeling to be part of something amazing. Very good. Thank you so much, Monica. Um, and you'll, uh, you'll catch Monica next time Edinburgh hits the floor, but she's um, one heck of a basketball player, um, Northwestern graduate, so she's an Erie County athlete as well. Um, we're going to head down to an athlete who um, originates from uh, more Southern in Pennsylvania. You might remember him from his time at um, West Middlesex, I believe, uh, and then his time on the Edinburgh football field and basketball court. So Trey Staunch, um, your viewpoint from our partnership with LECOM and what it means to be a student athlete. Hey, thanks, Chris. Uh, to be honest, it's been a very rough road for me, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, being able to play two sports here is uh, 
been a humbling and a blessing experience. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't be able to do it without Gary Hanna and his staff. Uh, I think the biggest thing for me was just building a relationship with them. And it was so humbling and it was so exciting to know that even though if I got hurt right away or I just needed something right away, that they would be there for me uh, at the drop of a hat. And uh, I couldn't thank them enough. And for you guys to come on as well, it's going to be a very exciting year. Uh, you'll get to work with some very good people. Obviously, you guys know them already. But um, to be honest, we couldn't do what we do without you guys. Uh, I know you guys don't get a lot of credit for or a lot of thank yous that you guys should uh, get from our student athletes and honestly from us as well. So uh, I just want to personally say thank you just because, uh, like I said, without you guys, uh, we don't get to perform on the field every day. We don't get to you know, live our dream and do what we do. Uh, that's why we're here. And uh, uh, just to be honest, I, I appreciate you guys uh, joining our team. And uh, like Dr. Robin said, welcome to the uh, Fighting Scots family. Wonderful, Trey. Thank you so much for that. Trey and Monica, uh, two representatives of our Fighting Scots student athletes. Um, I've, I've been working in, with athletics for a couple months now, and I, I must say our, our student athletes, our coaching staffs, our sports medicine administration, we're all working together um, to make things happen to keep our, our student athletes safe and healthy. And it's an exciting time as we partner with LECOM to make sure that you know, at the, at, the, uh, at the lowest moment of their life when they're injured, they're taken care of, but also they're going to be here to celebrate with us, um, whether we win championships or, or individual games. So thank you so much. Um, on behalf of Edinburgh University, I wanted to welcome Dr. Patrick Leary and Dr. Christopher Ryle uh, for joining us here today. Um, Gary Hanna, Sports Medicine, Dr. Catherine Robbins, thank you so much for, me, uh, for uh, joining us today as well. And to everybody who watched on Facebook or YouTube, thank you so much. Um, it's been it's been a treat working with everybody, and um, we wanted to welcome once again Lee Come to the Fighting Scots family. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.